we use all kinds of words, but the fact is, we don't know, it's nothing. Because not anything you can pin down. So, the answer to your question, what's reality? Science is nothing. Now, the second answer is, we wouldn't know all this unless we were conscious beings, right? We wouldn't have this conversation. We wouldn't know that something exists. Even though that something seems to be nothing, we would not know that something exists unless we had consciousness. So the question is, how does consciousness get produced? Now, for the last 300 years, scientists said, oh, it's made in the brain. You know, like your brain is like a turbine. You move it enough, you knock these little particles enough in the brain, then suddenly they produce thought, imagination, insight, intuition, creativity, anything that's mental. So the theory is, uh, I call it the turbine theory of consciousness. You know, like you, you move a turbine, it generates electricity. So you somehow jiggle these atoms in the brain, they produce imagination and thought. For 300 years, scientists have said that, but then you say, how? How does a molecule or electrochemicals in the brain produce mental experience, answer is we don't know. So if I ask you, imagine a beautiful sunset on the ocean. Well, you can see a picture, right? There's no picture in your brain. There's just some electricity and some chemicals, but you see a picture. Where is it? I ask you, imagine that your father is speaking to you right now. Listen to his voice or remember a favorite song. Where, what do you, you have an experience Okay, there's nothing there in the brain. But similarly, when I look at you, what I, when I look at you and I would look at a beautiful flower, what comes to my eyes is photons. They have no color, they have no dimensionality. They produce chemical reactions in my eyes. Electrical current goes to my retina, from my retina to my brain, and voila, I see a three-dimensional world in space-time with Kira and flowers colors, smells. How does that happen? We don't know. So there's no understanding of a biological basis of consciousness and there's no understanding of existence. We don't know what existence is and we don't know how do we know that there is existence because we have a feeling that we exist. We have a feeling that the universe exists. The answer to both these questions is we don't know and this is regular science, today's science.